We are mixing up a festive cake to share in the kitchen. GTU chef Lindy Davies back on the show with a recipe for almond cranberry pound cake. Yes. Happy holidays, my friend. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays so to, good you. to see I'm you. I'm so excited. It's so fun being back and just being with you guys. It's Southern so cooking in our kitchen. Oh, my goodness. Yes. If you need a neighborhood treat or a friend I goodie do. to give, this is the best thing to give. One, it's quick, it's easy, it's delicious. Wrap it up like I did. Just and put some parchment pretty. paper on it. Wrap it up with yarn. There you go. And it's so pretty. It is perfect for the holidays. I love that your family's in town. Your I sister's know. in town. I'm your so nieces happy. are here. Yes, they came so to be. Everybody with you today. taste testing with you in the kitchen today. They are. How I'm do we so put excited. it together? Okay, first you're gonna get two cups of flour, put it in a bowl, and then we're just gonna set this aside for a little bit. We're gonna get a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Put that in. And then a teaspoon of baking powder. Does your sister bake like you do, or are you the baker in the family? <laughs> She's laughing. She's giggling. <laughs> this is no. Okay, you that go. That means then. no. <laughs> this She's is the girl. Not. This is the expert. <laughs> my mom does. My mom bakes really. Oh, she makes the most delicious baklava. I should does have her on. She really. She does so great on that. Yes. You're gonna mix that together. Set aside. Meanwhile, we're just gonna use the mix sand mixer. You're okay. gonna do a stick of butter. I went ahead, already creamed that. And this is, I believe, two cups of flour. Add our sugar uh, in there. Yes, put the sugar, cream it together real quick. Okay. Put that in. We're gonna add an egg. The KitchenAid makes it so easy. I love KitchenAid, so don't do you? I. Don't you? Okay, this is the perfect flavoring, the almond flavor. You're gonna do a teaspoon of this. This really, I love the I love the flavor, so I do a teaspoon. But again, like the peppermint last, you know, last segment. If you don't like a lot of flavor, just do half a teaspoon. Okay. But for me, for this pound cake, it really brings it out. It accentuates it. So I would totally and just do, do it. And you like the almond with I the love, cranberry? I love almond cranberry. It's so good. It's like a sweet, you know, the perfect balance of sweet and tangy. Oh, I you can know? smell it. I can yes. smell it already. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna put that down, because you know me, I don't wanna make a huge, huge mess. You're gonna mix in the flour mixture. How many loaves does this recipe make? Okay, it makes one regular sized loaf pan. Okay. But if you get the mini, you know how the holidays, they always do like the mini loaves? Mm -hmm. You could do just, I think I did like four, four to five. I'm just thinking about neighbors. Yes. Right? So it's you could neighbors. do four to five with one, one of the recipes. With one of the okay. recipes. Uh, just don't overflow it. You want to go like halfway, mm -hmm. okay? Put that in, and then you need to add a half a cup of sour cream. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. Into this the pound is going cake? to make it so moist and flavorful. Oh, yeah. this is the best this part. This is why it's like soft and soft like you get that little crisp on the outside and then delicious on the delicious. inside. Delicious. Yes, Kay. and that's what really does make it like more moisture. Sour mm -hmm. cream. It, it must be a southern thing because we put sour cream in everything. In everything. <laughs> it's okay. like butter. But butter and sour cream, right? Okay, here we go. We got that mixed. Take this out. And then fresh and then you're going to cranberries. Fold in the cranberries. Okay. Worst case scenario, you don't have fresh cranberries. It's okay. You could use the frozen ones, okay? But um, I got the fresh ones. You're just gonna fold it in. Okay. You don't need to chop sure. those up. You just leave those whole and pour them right in there. Pour it right in. Okay. Mix it together. I have a feeling you are super fun to holiday bake with. <laughs> A little bit of like baking, a lot know, of laughing. A lot of laughter. It's just being in the kitchen with the girlfriends, right? Talking, fun. laughing, having fun. You put it in the It's pan. almost like a cookie dough consistency, it right? It's like a cookie dough. It is thicker. Okay, can I hold okay. this for you? Oh my goodness, yes. I'll Thank be your you. sous chef. Do, okay. Since We're gonna... your sister has the phone over there. <laughs> I've got you. Oh, she did tell me. She's like, when the girls came on the first segment, she's like, I'm not going on. I'm not going on. Not no, going she's on behind the cameras. She's behind okay. the cameras. Someone has to be there and someone has to be here. That's right. Okay, so we did keep one tablespoon of sugar left out. What you're going to do is you're just going to sprinkle it all on top, mm, like so. I like that so much. Yes. You're going to put it in the oven at 350 and bake it for about an hour. And then it's gonna come out just like this. Look how gorgeous that is. I know, it is so good. Does it even it's need so butter? Does it need jam? No, no you eat it just, just like that. Just eat it like that. I mean, you could warm it up if you, you don't like, like it warm. Yes. I like Go that little crispy sugar like right but there the on the top. The sugar topping is just magical in every way. Oh, Lindy. You got the Christmas, 
It's got the Christmas flavor. That's absolutely delicious. Thank you. I haven't had anything like that. Really? Mm -mm. Thank you. Yes. Ooh, I feel southern in the kitchen today. See? If you need the recipe, and you do, yes. abc4.com slash gtu, it'll all be right there. Cook like Lindy does with her family over the holidays. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's going to be fun. Mm -hmm. oh, 